Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a RAM comparison video between Linux Mint 20.1 on the left and Windows 7 on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, uh, we have Linux Mint 20.1 on the left and uh, I mean by 20... Um, 20.1 and then we have uh, Windows 7 on the right so I do like to do these video comparisons these are very really apples and oranges in terms of operating systems to compare but some people will actually want to uh, indeed compare these ones and it's always quite funny when I do a bit of a Windows 7 uh, RAM comparison or even CPU because on, on the left hand side we can see Linux Mint 20.1 is actually using almost 0% uh, CPU usage at any given time, but Windows 7, I just can't seem to get it to go down. It's always doing something here at the moment. It's running at 100% uh, full utilization. And then on the RAM side, we're running on about 200, uh, 2.7, 2.8 gigabytes of RAM, which is just massive. You can see when I did first boot it up a moment before the video began, it was sitting at probably about a thousand. But uh, if we go into the processes and see what's load uh, running, it's very difficult to ascertain what is actually uh, speeding us up there. Now, the, uh, there's only 10 uh, g uh, megabytes to use for the explorer.exe, so it really is quite strange, but it is really, uh, I guess, prolific, or really just common, uh, really, in a way, for Windows to be doing such a thing. And I don't think I mentioned it, but Linux Mint 20.1 on the uh, left-hand side here is running at about 670 megabytes of RAM straight on boot up itself. So nothing really loaded in the background. So all in all, at least where this video is concerned, uh, running at about a third or even less of the RAM indeed there. Probably even actually a fourth. But thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see you guys here in the next one.